that time after tons of hemming and hawing and back and forth and up and down and they're taking my gear they're not taking my gear i am at my container to help someone take my gear <laughs> it's all a big practical joke which I doubt I hope that uh, people have a plan but I'm not done I have a plan we have a plan that's that's what's going on if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll put a link up here to the first video uh, talking about what was going on this started last summer last August <sighs> what I'm thinking about is um, this is my storage container where we keep all the boats and stand-up paddle boards that we use for classes. And so this weekend I teach my last kayaking classes. There's some stand-up paddle board classes going today with Mary. And um, then on Tuesday, they're coming to take all the boats away. So what's going on is that the company that I work for, who I'm not going to name, I don't blame them, um, they have decided that um, we're, we're just not making enough money, essentially, and they're going to stop offering the paddle classes that I teach here. They're going to stop offering them actually all over the state um, and move resources someplace else. And I, I don't. Um, so six months of back and forth, and then a couple months ago, it looked like they weren't going to take our boats. <laughs> And so the plan was to pull all this gear out of here and, and not offer kayaking here, just offer hiking and navigation classes and stuff like that. Well, check this out. It is November and my gear is still here. And uh, for the time being, they have decided not to pull the gear out of here. And I'm not really sure completely what they're thinking or what the plan is, but at the moment, my gear is still here, and I think I'll be teaching kayaking instead of paddleboarding next season. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like we're taking our boats. All right, let's do this. So it's frustrating, but it's the nature of the beast, so we'll just do it. We'll just see what's next. next.